It's almost time to get the first matchup of the day underway. We've got SK, we've got Envious, and what's sure to be a barn burning set of events here at ESL One New York. Let's go ahead and bring it back full circle, guys. How are we feeling about this matchup? Is this going to be a strong one? Yeah, I think uh, the map pool actually makes it probably a little closer than one might guess it would be. Uh, Envious can show up at any time and have had perennially really strong T sides, so I'm excited to see this one play out. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh kind of mentioned it before, if we see them play Inferno, if we see them play Cobble, um, I think Envious actually has a shot, get some momentum, uh, at least split the piss rounds. Um, if you see a map like Train, SK can come out 16-3M. You know, like, is Envious going to show up today? Are they going to kind of show that new change, or is it the old Envious Happy's lurking somewhere, four people hitting the site, and they're just going to run into the SK wall, so we'll see. Well, the SK wall is certainly not a place you want to find yourself. We're going to get into the map vetoes here shortly, but first, let's take a look at this SK lineup and, and kind of deduct, you know, these guys, you can't take away from them at all, right? So you've got some heavy hitters in this lineup. Yep. Um, obviously, everyone's used to seeing Cold Zero be on the top. Um, you know, I made a comment earlier, not to say he's not the best player in the world, but he needs Fur to show up and get those big kills. He needs Taco to make the opening, so he has space, right? Fallen. Obviously, always uh, this one of the scariest offers to play against. From my perspective, I was almost more scared of Fallen because he's an opera who d has no restrictions, right? He's he's calling, but he also knows how to interject himself and get kills, and that's super terrifying. So um, they have so many, so many strengths Just in their weapons, arsenal. Right? Yeah, weapons in their arsenal. So uh, there's nobody who you can sleep on here, right? Yeah. Like Taco's gonna do his job. Everyone's pretty consistent. Fur is gonna just one tap you. Yeah. You know, it's just As I said, all around star studded lineup. Just normal SK gaming things, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, at any point, you can't, you know, take away from these guys and say, hey, you know, they're in a slump, they're down, whatever, it doesn't matter. They have that explosive capability. Uh, but let's take a look at the envious side of the equation because this is the competition. Scream, XMS, Sixer, Happy, and RPK. What do we know about these guys? I mean, collectively, these guys have probably been in the pro scene and playing at a high level for longer than SK, if you were to sum it up. Uh, it's just that SKs have had that huge meteoric rise to success in the last two years. Uh, something I think that makes Envious on an upturn is actually XMS making huge plays in the last few months. So he's been stepping up big time. He, it's no long. He's kind of almost having that like bo people are realizing that he's he can play at the level at a high level like Body, right? Like G2 yeah. early on was everyone's kind of like, ooh, I don't know if Body's gonna be able to be really effective. Now he is. It turns out he's actually yeah. nuts, right? Yeah. So and, and it's cool to see that because uh, you would hate for the latter to happen. Now, guys, we're gonna have to get into these predictions soon in terms of the vetoes and the map process. Where do we think this the one lands? Uh, me and Marcus were talking earlier. I think we kind of came down to Inferno, Trainer Cobble. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then if it does go to Inferno or Cobble, we think that that's Envy's best opportunity at getting a W here. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a look at uh, a B-hold here from Envious. I believe it's RPK. Uh, and kind of walk us through this one, guys. Yeah, so we kind of just chose RPK here because he kind of is emblematic of, like, the dynamic style that Envious has on their T side, right? Like, they're never going to do it anything the exact same. Happy might call like, all right, let's just default hold. You know, we know they're on a gun round. Let's just watch out for nades. You kind of feel out your spot on the map and work it as you see fit. Try and get control of some area, maybe top car at Banana by, you know, 115 on the clock. And that's kind of what we need at you at a minimum. So uh, is it safe to say that if we do land on Inferno, there's a really, really good chance for Envious to go into this one and take it? Yeah. yeah I think Inferno is one of those maps where everyone has the strats, right? Everyone has the executes. Everyone knows how to hit B. Everyone knows how to hit A. But like Mark is saying, um, taking banana control is kind of one of the pillars of the map. It's, one of, it's like a setup smoke and mirage, right? You have to take that banana control. So I think the key for Envious today is utilizing the normal map control, right? Nothing special. They don't need to do anything crazy. Just how the way big beat teams on Inferno, really what they did is small nuances, certain types of explodes, whether it's through a wrap smoke, maybe pushing back Fallen when they, he doesn't expect to be challenged and things like that. Because if Envious simply just plays default and executes default, they're going to lose. Fallen and then we're going to take back that B control from RPK. They're not going to let him get past that wall. So I think it really just comes down to do Envious react on the fly. Can they can they play both sides of the map on T side, or are they going to be? Are they reliant on that B control? Well, our money seems to be on if this does land on Inferno, there's a high likelihood for Team Envious. Let's take a look now at the vetoes and how they do break down. We're going to see the first band come through from SK is going to be Mirage. Is this a surprise? Uh, I mean, 
nobody really cares about the order of which one's banned first in a BO1, right? That doesn't really matter, right? Because we, we almost always see SK ban Nuke, uh, which is interesting, right? But they ban something that they think that Envy might not ban because they want Envy to ban Nuke, right? They'd but rather have them ban the map that they would want to ban. One thing is weird, though, about SK is Fallen sometimes, like, he could have just thrown Cash away right, right there, and, like, and that doesn't add too much context for his future opponents because... SK is known to be really good on Mirage in the past, but he does that, and you question, is he trying to give his future opponents a false sense of confidence in Mirage? Mm -hmm. Or is that just doesn't matter, like you said, because it's BO1? So. Mm -hmm. Well, we do see the band come out from the envious side on Inferno, uh, and, and yeah. quite the opposite of what we were talking about. I think that they, were, uh, they saw the last map that SK played against VP at uh, Mykonos, right, where they just absolutely just took VP to school on Inferno. It was just a joke. They couldn't do anything. It was 16 to 6 or something. Well, let's yeah. take a look at the next three bands because this is where things get down to the wire. We've got Overpass, Trent Cash coming out, leaving Cobble. So we're going right. to Cobble here between SK and Envious. So th I think the, the interesting highlight on the pick band phase is actually SK banning Overpass. I think that's the biggest one that's kind of like a question mark to me. Or maybe Envy banning Cash is a little weird. Yeah, well... Yeah, that's the envy ban cash doesn't seem to make sense. SK's all right on it. They definitely have some experience on it. I that that seems like it'd be opposite. Like envy would ban overpass to me. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh well, like we said, Cobble is one of the chances for um, SK or for Envious to beat SK. I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, look for the normal plays out of Envious, which are those explosive A hits. They'll make some pressure A hall, jump to the mid smoke, happy down drop, make some pressure mm -hmm. mid or A hall or mid jump out a mm hall. -hmm. So we know MVS play style is pretty explosive. Are they going to change it up a bit? I remember when they were playing uh, one of the last times you played Cobble on C9 was against Envious, and they were actually, they had a weird default where they would primarily go through bottom mid instead of, like most people work yeah. through A-Halls, but they would go through bottom mid, so I'd look out for that. Well, we do know what the map's going to be, but now I have to ask you guys what the score line's going to be. So w let's get some predictions here going into this SK Envious matchup. I just thought 16-12 uh, SK. Um, you know, I think that's like that's the most like fair and balanced approach. I, I'm not Thorin here. I don't take too much pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I would have to go with. I, I actually might even pick Envious here. It's a Bo One. Sometimes SK has trouble. Uh, you know, yeah. getting kick started in the early envious. mornings. I want to start T side here. I want to yep. get that pistol. I want to get 11 rounds T side fast before SK really wakes up. You know. Yeah, I, I'm actually gonna take Envious here, and I'm gonna take it 1611. So kind of mirror nice. image. I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's possible. Let's talk a little bit about their approach, though, over here on the on the T side. We do know that the Brazilians tend to have like an, a, a unique approach to Cobble. What can we expect today? Well, um, we, I'm sure me and Marcus both have a lot of opinions on this. He's him helping C9 as our analyst. We were watching a lot. Actually, I actually remember talking about SK's Cobble with him before. Obviously, on CT side, you have Fallen super dynamic at A with Fur. These guys just kind of mm -hmm. run the map. Um, Cold, excellent drop player. His, the way Watch how Cold changes up his utility usage at drop throughout the half. And uh, if you want to elaborate more on their B setup, it's a brick wall mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, Phelps is basically the smoke criminal of SK. So he's going to be playing the sidewalk area. As soon as soon If you try an exec on B you better know where your team's smokes are supposed to be because there's going to be an extra yeah. one and it's going to be Phelps' smoke and he's going to probably get a 2 or 3k yeah. via the smoke play. Uh, he also likes to play a lot on top of that planter at B. But in terms of T side, SK, it's going to be Taco at long B. You know, Phelps still and do Fallen the four towards. 4-1 defaults. Yeah, 4-1 defaults with Taco trying to make it seem like there's more than one person at B, smoking broken wall, going up top drop, mauling drop, nading drop, and just kind of like being annoying over at B, denying information, letting them take A halls, and then allowing them to come back to B if they need yeah. to. Well, we're about to jump into this matchup, but before we do that, before we jump into SK versus Envious, we're going to bring our commentators into the fold. We've got, uh, let's see, DeBears and Launders ready to bring it to the house. Had to give us a there, double guys. take to figure out who it was. No, I, you know, it's like I had to look is into the camera is, extra Trace? hard, and, uh, you know, eventually it's like, hey, there they are. I understand. But, guys, how are we feeling about this matchup? I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm getting little, uh, you know, <laughs> the, seen him, the like butterflies because I'm just – the SK versus Envious. Yeah, I'm, I just want to see what how SK is going to react to them. Yeah, it's gonna be it's a big it's a big match, and I think uh, Cobble is a great map to have this on. Um, it's gonna be we definitely know how well Envy play this map, but there is the problem of how much do SK know about how Envy play this map, because Happy is like such an integral player, but you can only invent yourself so many ways. It's and true. Yeah, if they want to use him to lurk, they want him to be in three different spots. SK are in tune with like what the tells are. And they know what's happening before it happens. They yeah. are playing checkers. Well, well, are playing, playing chess. 
Who's playing Chinese chess? <laughs> They're playing the same. I'm just saying <laughs> SK is so ahead that I love just to, to kind of see how they react to each other, how they adjust on the fly. It's just, um, you know, envious though. Mm -hmm. They do have kind of uh, a, a, a rep being kind of stale, a repetitive yeah. in a way. So yeah. maybe happy brings something different. Yeah, it's like for me, it's like all about happy because you're gonna have this one unit, three to four people on one side of the map. It's gonna be like working A and whatever. And happy is gonna make it try to seem like it's gonna be B, or he's gonna try to come out late. Or he's gonna lead. He's gonna lead the rotate back into B because he's gonna be the one that hears all the footsteps out of the site if his team does a good job selling it. So on the one hand, it's about what Happy can get away with. On the other hand, it's about his team making sure they can get entries so they can cause some. You gotta kill people, right? You, you can't. Have to. No one's gonna move. If you don't kill people. You have to shoot people in the face. You have to shoot people in the face. You ultimately, get the headshots, this the is headshots, a, a point baby. and click adventure, right? <laughs> you just click away. That's a, sometimes you have these strats all lined up. Yeah. But if you get, you know, shot by Fur, he's going to rush up middle on pistol round, kill three of you in the back. Yeah. It's like, well, how do you prepare for something like that? Everyone's got a plan until they get hit in the face. <laughs> yeah, Mike Tyson. It. It's a good life lesson there. Yeah, exactly. Everyone should get hit in the face. <laughs> it's a, yeah, I think so. It makes you really perspect on things like, hey, maybe I should uh, stop acting like that. Right. Yeah, maybe. Ever, watch maybe? Fight Club. Watch Fight Club. Club. It's a great movie. Yeah. We appreciate it. Quality film. It's good stuff. Tremendous stuff. Take a deep breath because I'm ready. I, ready. I'm yeah. just so excited. I, it's hard to contain it because you know, um, last time Envious actually played SK was on Inferno and they beat them like 16-3. Mm. So it's it shows that Envious does they can mop the floor with SK. They're here to game. They have that kind of game style. But yeah. SK, you know, Fallen, he's gonna he's gonna do research. He's gonna be like, well, these guys haven't changed anything in like six months mm -hmm. from their last demo. You know, he, he got it all. Ooh. He's got he's a, a tactical genius mastermind jimmy mastermind. neutron of the game. <laughs> he's the overlord he's the overlord he's, he the, he's sauron he sees everything <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's, he goes back home he got the tower got the eye yeah he's get back ready. to his tower he, he's like taco no stop doing that yeah the tacos is home in the bathroom it's weird <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes gotta go you gotta spend time in the but we'll move on from that we'll move uh, on we'll move on from we'll, that. we don't we'll want to go on. down that path no no, no. this is stay it. away we're here for CS. We're right? here for CS. ESL won New York. This is sick. Who do you think is going to win this map? Who do I think is going to win who this map? Who do you map? think this? who's going to win this map right here? I can't believe you're putting me on the spot I'm like putting this. you on the spot. I want to I get you out there. I want to get you loose. We've, we've, <laughs> I'm loose, man. I'm here. I'm ready. Good. You know, I'm a little tight. You know, yeah. it's actually... The massage later. I mean, you're looking great. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. You the too. The hair, the makeup, everything. Oh, my gosh. It's almost like the makeup lady did a fantastic job Yeah. you. We'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk later. Um, it's been it's been a lineup of for SK keep they kept their lineup for five or, or since ESL One Cologne have used Phelps mm. and since then have played extremely well. When they played last, were they playing with 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 Phelps when Envy beat them? Yes, I believe so. They I, were. Yeah, yeah, and, they were. And it's hard to say whether they've been more or less volatile with Phelps. I think that we've seen like some more amazing results. Like we've seen their Mirage improve, for example. Um, but we haven't seen we haven't seen consistency through at events. It's still been like top fours. And you see them always be threats, but it's uh, it's a little bit more sketchy now. I think. Yeah, it seems like a little bit of a roller coaster. You don't know what SK is going to show up. If it's going to be the the world champion SK mm -hmm. mopping the floor with everybody, or right. SK who is 16-3. Yeah, and you've all, okay, got 16-3. I really don't see that being a possibility. And to go finally come back to your predict, I want to say that I think SK are going to win this map. Yeah, I feel like if it was on Inferno, NVS would have had a lot better chance. I believe that their structure would have fared a little better, especially against SK's, you know, like pushing B, the aggressive play style. Mm -hmm. But on a map like Cobble, I think SK is so strong on it that NVS is going to have to pull some really nice out of their hat yeah they're gonna if they want to do this yeah they've got to get creative and here we are in the first round of the day of esl1 new york and uh this is definitely a hype group this is a hype group and a, and a great match to start it off both teams very comfortable on cobble and are going to kick it off in the pistol round obviously we just saw sk win the knife round and pick ct side to start so as a, a james and nothing talked about on the desk envy happy to take t or at least you would assume They've also got a lot to prove, I think, on T. This is the side that we are kind of putting them under a microscope for. Oh, yes. NVS likes to do these slow kind of start off with a default setup, 
put pressure, you know, like slowly push you back and mm -hmm. do like execute. Slow push. Right. See, Sixer does have a nade flash and a smoke. So expect some like explosion here uh, coming out this A maybe? For all alone. And he's creeping up on just a pixel peak on long. Isn't going to find a target quite yet. XMS looking to make friends. Fur might have made noise and. He really does want to get in their face, but they're fully aware of the fact that a push might happen. Rotate has come in. He sees one target. Can't take him down. XMS putting pressure. Fur has to fall back, but Fallen is there in the door. No problem. From the truck with his teammate Fur, and they're both taking shots. RPK trades him out. Sixer nades Fallen down. 3v3 is happy. Moves into the rat hole. This could be a big flank. However, Taco from the heaven is able to get a kill, and now it's two on two. The round slows down. Cold Zera from heaven, takes out his friend. Phelps has to do a 180. Happy cannot finish him off, but because he has 20 bullets, he eventually gets the job done. One on one, very tense moment. A good start could mean it all. Happy looking for this fight, but Cold is too strong. Three kills on the pistol, three kills on the knife. Cold Zera, three kills. It looked like Envious had the positional advantage and then the bomb sight, but you can't underestimate the, the fragging ability of Cold Zero just running right in. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get a couple kills right there. Yeah, the rotates were good. We, we had fur lasted long enough for his team to be able to come in. Right? They're they're pumped up. I'm pumped up. They're, you're pumped I'm up. I'm doing air push-ups right now. I'm getting ready. You're rowing. As you see here, we got MVS. They are going to be creeping over this A halls. And we do have Fallen and Fur doing their A thing. Yeah, pixel peek from Fallen. He doesn't actually spawn the first person. That's a huge problem. Scream taking advantage of it, hitting that first bullet with a Tech-9, ending his life quickly. Fur now has to watch his back, get spotted. And this is a really tense position. Wants to be able to fall back, obviously. Getting a kill is nice, but going one for one. Still leaves Envy with the man advantage. Phelps moving into lower A to kind of make amends here. He's, he's got he's to pick up some slack for his team. Wow, Taco on the other side of the map. Happy as he lurks out, leads into the site, takes him down one for one with just a simple deagle push. Like, no problem. I like SK's rotate right there. It's unfortunate that Taco got killed in B because I wouldn't ex think Envious would expect SK this pushed up in middle after two kills already happened. Now the question is, will they, will they even decide to save? I mean, after they see, they've seen XMS here. He's not giving them a... A, a really great peak. Can, they can kind of take advantage of this, but he finds a way to escape. And now falling back with the information that there's a UMP in lower the bomb down, we see SK players become a little bit more calcified at A, just sticking around and potentially waiting for exits, but they're not going to get more aggressive than this. Yeah, this is a smart play by SK. You're down in numbers, bad positioning, the bomb's down on, on CT. It's better to save money, save that armor. You know, you have utility, and, um, and armor for the, the next round, and you know, you might be able to reverse it again, because we might see SK just do like a little force buy. Yeah. They already have two guns. Yeah, so are, do you think they will do a force buy here? They've got they've got armor, they've got two people alive, some nades left over. They've got a buy up on three people. They know that Envy just won the round. They won't have the most money ever, but at the same time, they they do have two umps to recycle into this round. It's gonna be a couple of AKs. It's, it's gonna be a tough buy to beat. Yeah. And, and here it is, because we saw Scream get Scream is able to cross as, as Fallen's, um, Fallen's kind of doing budget peaks. He's, mm -hmm. he's just watching this pixel angle for a moment and then coming off of it. Expects to see the first guy. Gets kind of an unlucky there. Yeah. And with SK's teamwork so awesome, so good, is that it's smart for them to force spy, mm -hmm. you know? Because it's, you know, they were reset. They would have to uh, save twice anyways. So use teamwork. Use the angles. It's all about the angles, Launders. It's all about the mangs. You, you work off each other. If I'm peeking, you shoot them in the back. Make the kills easier, and you know, easy run. Talk to each other. Talk to each like other. Communicate. Go out for some dinner. Go hang out. Some dinner, yeah. Have a you know Brazilian barbecue. Have have a good time. Have some Brazilian barbecue yeah. and just uh, you know, have fun. Build that teamwork. Team chemistry. Rub each other's backs. It's really important. You've got to have team bonding experiences. That's all there. I mean, that's that's all there is now. I mean, we see. I talked to Guardian and um at uh, Katowice, and he said, the only thing our team needs now is, is more trust, you know? And th exactly. that's something out of game. It's gotten to the point that everyone's so good at the game, it's, it's all about these out of game factors. It's a mental game, and if you can't trust your teammate, your moves gonna be that much slower. You, you can't have it. that on a high level, you can't. You can't. Oh, actually a team flash here to stop RPK, but that won't matter, he's a tank coming through with the MAC-10. 
and opening up B all by himself. This is such a difficult position for SK to be in. They've got two rotates in the drop. Happy getting a little bit more aggressive than maybe he needs to, but in spite of this, they've, they've still got a weapon advantage and they've still got positional advantage with the time ticking down on the bomb. Yeah, that was very unnecessary by Happy to push through a smoke like that, not knowing where the other three people are. A team like SK, they could be random. They could have three people stacked in, mm -hmm. you know, the drop area. You don't know that, so you you have the bomb down. Um, it's on the third round. Play a little smarter. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of sit back, save the armor. And Cold Zero did not think he'd get caught by that angle. You never see Cold get caught like that. <laughs> no, that's a definitely a rarity right there. And Unfortunately, that's uh, going to cost him an armor and a UMP. Oh my gosh, does it all fall apart for SK? Or are we getting way too ahead of ourselves? We're getting a little way too ahead. Oh my I gosh, think. Yeah, we're a little bit way too ahead of ourselves. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> Still long, lots of CS to play. Don't give up. We can't have that mentality where they won the first round, let's just give up. You don't want to have a loser mentality. You can't. No, there's 16, up to 16 rounds, and uh, we're only in round four. And some and say, you know, whoever gets 16 first wins. Some say, yes. <laughs> some say. And usually that's the case. <laughs> Unless there's some kind of rare disqualification that happens, but... Or overtime. Or overtime. That's true. That's true. But, you know what, I'm not even getting in the details. As we got Fur and Fallen, the only two people with armor. A full save for SK. They have to get their money back on track. Team Envious, you know, doing it slow. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like RPK. I think he's pretty underrated. He he does the hard, or he does a lot of the dirty work on the team. Mm -hmm. Watching flanks, make sure you don't push that kind of stuff that SK loves to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if RPK has a huge game. Okay. If uh, Envious does well. Eyes on RPK. And uh, obviously last round got those two really clean entries with the MAC-10. We've and, and it's important to keep an eye on who's getting the entries. RPK going up first with the MAC-10. Again, they want to funnel as much as they can into him because he's just got this SMG. And uh, that's money in the bank. So uh, Fallen kills XMS. Not enough space given to Scream to make sure that he could keep him alive. but. That just leaves two people in the back of me, Taco, with just the USP in a tough spot at the Rock. Dwayne Johnson falling back now. Cold Zero through the door, headshot. There we go, back and forth, like of course. But it's a, it's a two-on-three situation at Deagle, and what well, was an MP9 is now taken out of the rounds. Just our man Cold from the same position. They know where he is. He can't get another kill, right? Oh, you can't, you can't say that about Cold Zero. Right. He's a guy that's probably, yeah, I'm going to... Headshot a guy here, headshot a guy there. Hey, why not? Hey, you know, you over there, I'm going to headshot you, oh, you, you know? think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? <laughs> no, man. Let's headshot him, fools. Yeah. Uh, but they, they do know where he is, and, and, and because of that, he's he's given them the, the, the respect, you know, they deserve. They, they've earned the sight. They watched the door. He can't have gone that far. Screams crouched under this angle that it's going to force Cold to kind of jump up on to fight. Yeah. It's he a favorable spot. He wants them to oh. come to him. <laughs> okay. He wanted that AK. Yeah. And he wanted to come to them because if, if he peaked earlier, he, he got a kill. He's more risk of, of being shot at. Mm -hmm. And if he does get a kill, he can't get the gun. Yeah. So he wants them to make a mistake, come to him, get the uh, the AK or whatever. Right. Best of both worlds. And there it is. Just a obviously clean peek from Scream. As we move into round five, a full buyout. Finally, we're into it. After all the the anti-eco nonsense. But look at this. The thing in Kabul, though, mm -hmm. is that you need Molotovs to really slow down, like, just map control. And there's zero Molotov in SK. So they're going to have to get these early kills. Right. And it's actually a lot of B pressure to kick it off. XMS obviously starting up with uh, a straight-up tree molly. And uh, Taco on the back of the site. Phelps at rock. One more on the path and a full B hit to deal with. Two coming out, drop. RPK goes down first. Big win for SK. Cold Zero pitching in with two. Happy, though, answers back with a couple of entries of his own, and that leaves just two people on the retake. Fallen and Fur, but as you mentioned, ooh, no mollies to help them out. Fur, however, just taking a duel and winning the rounds. Or so it seems. XMS still has hope. Spots the shoulder of one person in drop. Will think to put the bomb down, but wants to make it a one-on-one -on -one before that happens. Now that he's been called out, they can kind of get more favorable position, at least slightly, knowing that he's probably going to commit. Flash goes out, he falls back to long B. This is a cool headshot angle. Is actually going past the box. Wants to try to grab someone on path, but in this two-on-one, we'll have to see how SK play it. All it comes out for the back of Rectangle, XMS proceeds to push farther into long B. He's overthinking it. He's playing himself, maybe. 
Will he come back? This bomb isn't actually planted for him. The smoke will plume. No one's sticking it, and he's got to be in a position now where he has to spray. They've spotted him now. Fallen's going to stick the bomb. Fur goes down. Will he find this headshot? It's so... Oh, my God. Any moment now, he has to get this kill. Fallen doesn't have a kit. Oh, my God. Did he goodness. even have time to defuse? Wow. Oh, nobody had a kit on SK. They had absolutely no chance of winning that round. Unless they killed him right away. I mean, it was, was kind of close. I mean, it was probably very close to the end of the bar, but that was just... You have to think that he wouldn't have tried to defuse if they didn't have the full 10 seconds, but the fact that Fur had to delay for so long is what's most worrying, and here we go. Yeah. Wow. Who knows? I, I have no idea if it... I don't have the in-game... So what I do is I turn on in-game music, so yeah. I know exactly... And put yeah. on that Hotline Miami music hit. Exactly. So I know when 10 seconds hit, the music starts playing, and because it feels like this game's so hard to exactly know by just the bomb timer went 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It feels like there's so many situations where it's either 11 or 9 seconds. Well. It's very important. I mean, we can we can be proud and say that we play this game long enough that we know exactly when it's 10 seconds. But sometimes it's 10 and a half. Sometimes it's 9.5. And you really, it's hard to say for sure. I mean, it's nice when you know right away because you can actually run in that time mm -hmm. and save your gun. Assess the situation. Assess the situation. Calculate the odds. Do some calculus on them, you know? Right. Oh, this is a game for very mathematical people. Headshots across the board. Hey, <laughs> yow, hey, very spicy clean. right there. RPK shot one bullet that round. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. RPK, he's been he's been playing really well. And MVS looking pretty good. Five to one SK. Now this can be a T-sided map, especially if you're you know have good defaults, you're structured, mm -hmm. you, your timings and well as we've seen from MVS so far, is that their B hit, their time was great. As they hit platform, they're coming out drop door at the same time, so it's making SK look at different angles, and once they c commit to one angle, they get shot from the other, so enemy is looking pretty on point right now. Double up setup adjustment for SK, and this is something we see them do both when they're winning and when they're losing. Just to change it up, and here they, they definitely think that they need more leeway because maybe they aren't feeling like the rotations are on point or just the straight up rifle duels. The aim isn't all that good. And, and Taco's been on the B flat. We've seen him up here before. He's going to have an opponent who's already wide swinging on him. The jump peak allows him to get that information. Will he kill XMS, who's creeping up on his left? Actually takes out his teammate. Happy entering A at the exact same time. XMS taking down Taco, leaving Phelps and Fallen alone. Fallen has a favorable spot. Hits a couple of very nice head sh or op shots, excuse me, as they cross into A, has receded back to long, and they jump back right out of his vision. Phelps is now moving in. Will he push through the smoke is the big question. Has found a good opportunity. The spray down is good. However, he goes one for one, happy with the second kill of the round against Fallen in the exact same position. Bomb in a favorable spot for Fallen, but he has an op. A one-on-one, -on -one, this can be quite difficult. He's pushing up with the USP. Will he finish the kill? Happy! His visit is sprayed. The no-scope is bad. He's going to reload the USP. He's going to go back to the fight. It's coming down to pistols here as they go down the ramp, and he gets the kill, finally. <laughs> that was a little uh, ragtag little one-on-one -on -one right there. Oh, my God. That got ugly. That got so hairy. You know, sometimes it gets a little ugly and hairy in life. You just have to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to go with it. You just got to think back to the 80s. You wake and up. Love you, Bush. You, you wake up. You make mistakes. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> you you move on. You, you just walk it off. Just walk it off. Just got to walk it off. The, the walk of shame. But what matters is it's a fall and got the round. Had incredible two kills at A. Yep. And just turn it around because Envy has outplayed SK the entire round. Right, they did. I mean, they got the entries on both e A and B. Uh, we <laughs> they got still lost the round. Yeah. Okay, sure. And they, yeah, they still and they still. So it was Phelps and and Fallen came in for like what was a crossfire. Phelps should have probably got like two. I want to say just based on how good he is. I think in another situation would have got two kills there, but Fallen definitely doing his part. And again, yeah, just got to remind his team that listen, we got the round. Okay, I don't want to hear about it. Just. We won it, we're moving on. It's two to five. They have another buy up because of it. MD know that they're weak though. They yeah, know that they have low economy. Mind. With only yeah. one person surviving that last round. So they're they're probably gonna try to take advantage of this. Very aggressive long setup from SK. Are ve I'm very much expecting A in this situation. Missing a first op shot is gonna force him to recede, but there's a boost behind the smoke. Cold Zara is on the other side, however. Will he find the 2K? Fantastic headshots from him. Oh. One player in lower, Sixer to take him out. Fur as well to assist that A. They didn't expect three people here. Yeah, and that's one of the, the negative things about, you know, a default kind of play. If you watch previous demos of Envious, they do have the slow A default take the halls, take over middle, slowly push him back. And the SK, obviously they knew that. Mm -hmm. They stacked three people in that A halls and completely countered them. Completely countered them. 
called their re called the setup out of the re like I think they believe that Envy are going to set up their default. It's going to be towards A. If they're aggressive enough, they can get kills before anything else happens in the round. They were completely correct about it. The boost was good from Envy to, in response, but it almost fed into their belief that they could take A when they got that kill on Fallen falling back. However, Fur was down there at lower A. It wasn't going to let his teammate get flanked at long. They had all their bases covered. So if I was happy calling the next um, gun round strat, I would actually go A again. Go A again? Because they stack three people A halls. Yeah. And so a lot of people, a lot of teams would be like, well, maybe we should maybe head towards B or something. Or I do the almost exact same thing and mm. just go right in the halls and just give them the old, you know, they won't expect it. The Think old dead zone strat. Dead zone strat. Just hit the same site. Um, 13 rounds in a row. 13 rounds in a 13 row. 13 rounds in a row, mix it up. You walk, contact, execute, whatever it is. Right, mix it up. You mix it up. And see, look at they stack towards B. You see SK have four people there. Right. Because, they, you know, hey. Right, yeah. They're like, this is uh, for SK. They're like, they're not going to go A again. And uh, only the Bears is in the, it's only in the French game. corner. And it's, it's almost say that I look like Happy. And maybe I could just replace him. And Ooh. <laughs> no one will know the still difference. Still got it. You still got it. Still got it. Got it. Actually, he looks like me because I'm older. You don't lose the smarts. You don't lose smarts. I'm a cerebral player. There's it's all brain. It's brainiac. It's it's crazy. I'm crazy, but with with chaos. He's nice too. You're nice too. Yeah, crazy, I'm nice. You're nice. I'm nice, and there's a method behind my madness. Right. On this force buy, initial kill. RPK gets drop control, or so it seems. After that, gets killed. Burn looking to re-aggress on Happy. Maybe a situation where he doesn't need to get that aggressive, but because it's the corner of the smoke, knows that there isn't going to be much other angle that he's going to be fighting with, which is nice for a duel there. Flash into lower A as MV look to other options. Off to lead in, and Fallen is going to be the man of the hour. He's the, the sole man here in a precarious spot. You get to watch lower A from up here, but you've also got to worry about people coming up stables on you. Now that his teammates rotated in, because they have five, they can play two here. Taco's going to get frisky on the lower ramp. Ooh, look for a little bit of damage. Sixer, however, with just half his body, is able to take him out, and Fallen has to fall back to higher ground. Now on default, Cold Zero is going to rotate in, but again, another option for Envy as they rotate back. You like this, rocking it back? I like this. I love this. the swing strat. Is SK, they know when time is low, they're going to over-rotate. Oh. Now they found the time was envious. Phelps does take out screams while XMS takes out Phelps. So nice one for one for both teams. Oh, did Sixer just blow that? Shoots his off, and it's probably because he had another target. Phelps turns around about 70 degrees, hits that nice spray on Happy coming out E-Box. The strat was there. If Phelps did die, he was ready to take first contact. If he mm -hmm. does die, you know, maybe they have another out in that round as Sixer was trying to watch the bomb. And if he didn't take that first op shot, and this activated our man Fur into going and peeking that planner. But, uh, yeah, they didn't expect him to be a pizza. I, I, pizza, I like that's what I call it. But uh, there he is. He I, wanted I, a slice. I do. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for some CS. But, um, you know, that round with, like, 10 seconds left, the, the bomb's kind of, kind of, uh, I'm ticking away mm -hmm. or the timer. I think at that point you have to be aggressive. As you saw, as he's playing the bomb, you have to cover him. You have to swing wide and almost even take a bullet mm -hmm. just for the fact that you can have the bomb down and have a chance to win the round. As you see, Sixer did not hand his teammate a chance to win the round. You have to be aggressive in that situation. Got to be proactive for being proactive at lower A, getting a second kill. Fallen, obviously. Going up to Long, taking a frag for himself. Very, very friendly peak for Oppers who have a good spawn. And uh, one another situation where SK are up five to three. They they control the round. It's it's much easier for them. They don't have to move as much. Drop and control could get taken, but they've got so many outs to trade here. Phelps moving into B as well. RPK falling down off of his own flash. It's going to be communicated. Phelps is going to smoke Evox in response. And RPK actually with a flash out of drop is able to take advantage of the cold. Wow. Had to readjust his aim, but there it is. Phelps, after the damage has been dealt, is able to finish off a kill. It's only 30, 40 HP. No problem for him, leaving Sixer alone in a 1v4. His uh, his big accomplishment of the round at this point is to try to do as much damage as possible, maybe get a couple kills. But with 30 seconds left and four CTs, hope is basically lost, right? Yeah, he left the bomb over there in B platform, so, I mean, not much you can do right here. As he takes out Sixer. But now, right now, NVS, if I'm in NVS, I'd take a timeout. Oh, what well, do you know? They take a timeout. Just ice the go. kicker. Ice, ice the kicker. kicker. Slow it down. Yep. Rethink your strategy. Because what you're doing, SK's caught on already. Right. They caught on. They're adjusted. They know, hey, these guys are doing They're doing slow defaults. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they're poking one way. 
like towards A, and they sometimes swing back B. It's like it's a. Uh, I think NVS may have to be a little quicker. Maybe a little bit quicker, more, more quicker. decisive. Maybe, uh, yeah, just uh, maybe do like a four-one. A four-one. Just do a four-one. Overpower something. Just try to change it up just a little bit. Just keep SK on their toes. Take control of it. Yeah, we see. It feels like SK are the one doing the pump fakes with their CT setups. Mm -hmm. They're really getting. They're really getting in NV's heads. You know, maybe they're talking about that round that you mentioned. They probably should have gone uh, a one more time. SK was weren't there at all. Like there was no one. There was no one to stop them. That would have been free map control for them. And uh, and uh, we'll see. We'll see the effects of that talk as NV move into what is basically a half by. I want to say. Good nade. Nope, not done that much damage. Pressure on Taco now to hit some shots. Great wall bang on one player coming out long. Tries to readjust for a second kill. Can't get it. Sixer up here and with the bomb goes down. So does Happy. Easy cleanup. It may look too easy. And as I was saying about before changing up, it's almost like when you in game leading and calling strats, there's a time where when you're playing a team, they're doing everything mm -hmm. to count you perfectly. And then you think to yourself, what is the right play? When you think of that right play, do the opposite. Do the opposite. Do the opposite, <laughs> because that's what they're on that next level, too. So it's, the, the, it's that third game level. I like, don't know if you need, like, a parody Twitter account. <laughs> that's just, like, your... Th I don't know if these are, like, real reflections of DeBerry. Listen, this is real stuff, oh, okay, right? Okay, then just throw them on your regular account, honestly. This is million dollar... Because the only thing on there is just, <laughs> I'm playing PUBG, come catch me. <laughs> we need some Stromberg quotes up there. Stromberg quotes. 2017. Right, I'll, I'll, throw it out, I'll throw it out there. You got to... You gotta, you gotta kind of get out of this rut, right? right? When they're dancing with you, mm -hmm. they're throwing a little screwball at them, you know? Right, just screwball them. Screw them, do the opposite of what you think is the right play. Gotcha. And that's how you, that's how you break, th you, that's how you just bust through. That's how you wear their shoes. You wear their shoes right. or their clothes, whatever, their skin, whatever you're into. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Yeah, the tables will turn. <laughs> Fallen uh, again, uh, off pick to start it off. Has been very consistent with this, and, and, and it has been another pick at A. SK haven't had to play particularly stacked at A with his presence. At this point, they do have two, one pushed up. They aren't worried about an early fast B. And that's why we see this setup. Phelps actually gets killed and drop, and our man Cole tries to jump down for some reason. Isn't attacked by Happy. That was a good opportunity to maybe find a kill. Sixer takes out Fallen, and that's an off dual one, a very big one. 2v1 at this moment. Kills are traded. Sixer has to look for a frag. There is an opponent in the door. Taco gives his position away. Fur misses an opportunity, but when Sixer goes on cycle, three peaks with that Deagle, takes him out with less than 10 seconds. That wasn't even their last problem. It would have been a one on one where he was forced to plant. Yeah, and right now you see. Ooh, that's big fast. Game. The pick game is going such in favor of SK that that's a problem with slow defaults. Mm -hmm. Like if, if if they have two alps, one alp, an opera on fire, regardless, you, c you can't just be elbow peeking and turning corners slowly at every angle. You have to explode. See right there again, two picks right off the bat. Right. You know it's an eco, but you know you bought armor, you bought pistols. You still want to be proactive and and just just stop spreading up apart. Go right for the jugular. Right for the jugular. Grab that neck. It's been SK riding high on confidence. Double op set up to start it off, and that one on uh, at the it was one to five. And now it's seven rounds later, or six rounds later, and SK have just won them straight. Ops are having so much impact as well. It's really on Envy to try to avoid these situations, or if they can use Sixer like they did in that previous round to win the duel versus Fallen, but sacrificing their pawns or riflers to try to take him out has definitely been a bad idea. And we know that we know that Fallen can get aggro at long A, especially if he doesn't get any information. Maybe they could get him to push into um, into a setup where they're waiting for it because SK are running high on confidence. They're not going to be scared to, to push. Like They're, they're going to feel pretty good about it. Here's another boost in the drop with the op. It doesn't get more aggro than this. Taco can kind of sit and wait for as long as he wants. RBK might shoulder peek here. Goes down immediately. No drop control for Envy, and that's something they probably just talked about. Jump out of long B plat. XMS has actually made his way beyond Felt. Felt the 180 gets taken out by Scream with a quick headshot. Taco has some enemies to deal with, and Scream is having a heyday on this side of the map. Fallen rotating in now. Two ops 
makes it kind of tricky. They've got to hold on to angles. Still use some utility to use. And uh, there it is, another entry, however, falling with a nice 180. And a smoke to cover him at the back of Rectangle with a teammate rotating in on long. If he makes some presence, it could get tricky. Sixer down to red HP, fallen, sees an opportunity, finishes off the frag. Knows now that someone's pushed through Rectangle too smart is Fallen. Three kills on the round. Good hold. Talk about throwing away a round right there. Mm. Maybe has let Fallen just uh, dance around and I mean Fallen hit some nice shots yes. there. Right there. Happy should have had him. Yeah, that's when you see your life flash behind before your eyes is that the opera turns at you, right? It's, it's see their name tag round. pop up. Yeah. Apex, yeah, it's Napoleon like, meme. <laughs> <laughs> like Jibated. I, he wasn't even looking at me. <laughs> Uh, and that's fallen. You give him more than two seconds, and, and it's pretty much over. Here we go. The exposure right here. Ooh. Elf gets kind of pushed back here. Now it's kind of an interesting spot. Let's take out one person. And now it's a three on three situation. I mean, Envious does have control of B, kind of. Cold Zero's alert. Right on the smoke. Taking out Scream. Oh. Ooh. RBK, though, with patient mechanics, is able to readjust on that second burst. Find the kill. And it's a two-on-two -two situation again. The entries were really good. It seemed like the pace made a lot of sense. And Fur with the patience is able to outlurk Happy, the master of it. RPK one again, once again one-on-two, and it's been a series of one-on-twos in this half so far for Envy. Not any of them won actually. Yeah, SK has been uh, controlling and destroying them in the mid game, where you know two-on-two, three-on-three situations, you have to rely more on communication and peaking at the right time. That's a good point. And SK is just way above NBS on that. Right, and that's it. The last round of the half, it's been crazy. After getting five rounds, they didn't get any more. And now we move into the second half of the first game of the day, and we'll see if SK can close this out. Stay tuned. Yeah. ESL One New York is brought to you in part by Intel, Logitech G, Republic of Gamers, GoDaddy, and StubHub. SK looking like Mayweather in the eighth. Oh, <laughs> was it set up? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another conversation for another day, maybe. But yeah, what a what a comeback from SK after Envy coming with that strong 5-1 start. It seemed like they were going to run away with it. Yeah, SK, sometimes they're slow to start, but once they figure on what you're doing, mm -hmm. you got uh, you got to come up with something special. They get those claws in there, get and then the they claws don't let go. They're the Python team. They just wrap around you and right? squeeze. The squeeze yeah. Take a deep breath, they squeeze even more. Ooh, <laughs> oh, don't breathe. Don't breathe against Only SK. Only gets worse. <laughs> 10 to 5. We're moving to the pistol round. It's moving fast for SK as they run up the A-Ram. Screams having a lot of pressure put on him. The USP, he's going to be begged for some headshots. Finds one through the door, but that's not enough. Still 5 alive. Sixer from Long in the crossfire. And is Ape going to be able to find a kill? though? No. He's looking for one. Can't find it just yet. Scream, however, finishes Phelps off. Two left alive for Envy. They're finding a couple of kills. No problem. Long gets shut down. Fallen brings it to a one-on-one. -on -one. Another situation, a clutch situation for SK. They've been able to come out on top every single time. Falling down to half HP, and he's moving up the ramp. He sees XMS. Is this going to be a good opportunity for him? He's running out of bullets. He gets the headshot. Four kills, and SK clean up the second pistol. Can you believe it? I, I gasp because I'm just... 
like I'm I'm in awe by how how they keep winning these kind of rounds. Like but Fallen should have died probably three times over in that situation, but maybe the nerves are like, kicking in a little bit. Ooh, more. the ESL New York jitters. Ooh, you got you know group stages. Your group arms stage. shaking. Once a year. Mine's quaking. Right. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, and SK doesn't get nervous apparently. They just they he got the a fallen got that rock solid veins. Been there, done that. He lifts. Yeah, it's a juggernaut. <laughs> wow. That's a headshot, you know, you feel you can't forgive yourself for missing, right? Like XMS, he hits that every day. But uh that's that's the name of the game. Sometimes sometimes These aren't bots. Sometimes the bullets go in. That's right, they're not bots. These guys are anything professional. But. Number one, baby. Some good pistol damage. Six or two kills. Not looking too shabby. And at the very, if the very least they could do is get ecos, that's great. Fur. It's obviously going to be holding W on the anti eco. And Fallen is going to assume that this was cleared because he came out. But with some good patience, finds two kills. Great eco round so far for Happy to really make light, uh, make, help help his teammate make sure that this uh, that damage wasn't done in vain. Six or opening it up obviously but now this is taco one on two will the clutch go this way it's it's a pretty good round and a, a pretty winnable round I, i'd say for both teams um issue is that envy are kind of set up in a pretty decent crossfire is he going to see the head of happy there's one under heaven that's xms and they clean it up great patience from happy there a very good job envious need that round so desperately it's happy is a lot of people would have shot they, they would have but you know what he's uh He's a stone cold killer. Yep. He's waiting. He's patient. There's you, anything. You tell him in his, in his, like play style. He's just he's a lurker. Mm -hmm. He's gonna wait. Yeah, he's a, like a lurker through and through. Yep. Thoroughbred lurker. Just like, uh, just wait for him. He'll be on the upside of the map. I promise you. You notice, like all the players with the best trigger discipline, as people are calling it, are lurkers. Mm -hmm. uh, snack swag, happy. Uh, and some people are just debatable, though. Just have it. You know, it's debatable. You, it's, I don't even. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're first in line, you know, uh -huh. you have a chance to get one shot off before getting annihilated by a crossfire. Mm -hmm. So lurkers have the uh, the opportunity to, I guess, have those shots. Right from that position. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. But uh, it's a great way to steal back the momentum. And the uh, we're looking a lot lot more than worse for wear after that first half uh, the lackluster showing in the second part of it uh, it's and and uh, in response SK gaming have bought up half armor deagles a couple of nades and they're on T side they haven't lost anybody they've gotten forward a control from here they have a couple of options it's still it's still gonna be a rotate heavy situation for envious but because they have five people the relay isn't that long they can yeah. they can kind of go back and forth between drop and a uh, drop and long B and I think, and I think, uh, I think with with this kind of you know pass head up, all it takes is one D or one a D headshot from SK to kind of ruin this because mm. it's harder for teams to rotate if they're playing so passive because the information game. The explode on A has taken effect. Sixer in the back of the site. Belt tries to clear it. Doesn't matter that he doesn't fo do it fully. And the rotator in scream gets killed instantly. RPK jumping out of heaven to his grave. Cold Zero with the CZ also gets a kill, and that leaves XMS alone. One in, went on three situation. First kill is had. Bomb goes down. He was praying that it didn't, that they didn't have time. And from the exact same position that he kind of guffed the pistol round, is going to now have two targets. Has to move on to a tougher level without having passed the first test. But gets Taco. Fallen. Five HP. Jumping up on site. Will XMS know that this is the play? Spots him now. Has the opportunity to go for the kill. Ball in. Won't be able to run. That was close. Great clutch from XMS. Well played. Now, a little to talk about Envious's uh, anti-default kind of right there. They had rifles. And they were playing so passive. Like, Six mm. was playing so passive that he wasn't even peeking an angle. And they just walked up on him. I think that's kind of a... It shows your confidence that it's, it's lacking right there. Like, mm -hmm. you have a rifle and you know they're saving. Take a couple shots. Get some information. Like, make them take the hard shot. If they get the 1D from across the map, well, you know, that's not much you can do. Mm -hmm. But if you let the entire team come up in the bomb site, push up on your angles against your teammates, that's something you can prevent. Right. That's that's something you should stop. And uh, if you can't, you got to ask for the rotates. But, yeah, he had, the he had like, the safest. It was kind of a last-ditch resort, mm -hmm. but it was a safe angle to get at least get a kill. Yeah. And he couldn't even do that. 
and then that just goes to show SK riding high on confidence. Now they have a half by here, armor on a bunch of players, falling with just a smoke and a flash, and Sixer to, to try to get into the fray early. Falling back into danger, has support from his teammates, so he can kind of post up and relax. Right clicks a nade into the smoke, no one there to absorb any of the damage, and Scream going to be turning his attention to lower A, but he's much he's much more useful here. It, Sixer would still have a, they could totally avoid Scream if Sixer um, was stuck in danger, so important that he helps his team out. But oh, wow, peeks into two people, Cold Zero and Fur combine, and that's it, they're taken out. Now Happy has already made, gotten to found a really good spot, but off of a 45 degree flick, Phelps takes his face off in RPK, is now moving on to default. They're gonna kind of expect this to happen. They know where he is. He's getting stinked through the wall. He's down to 17 HP. All this chip damage is finally eating away at him. And as XMS jumps out, is able to readjust with the Falmas, find the headshot, and save Envy. Even though RPK only got one kill, great job staying alive. Mm. If he would have died at all, uh XMS would have been be all this chip know, damage very terrible is situation. Eating away at him and as Sometimes all you need to do is delay, right? That's that's all you you've got to do at the very least, right? Stay alive, trying to get, um, you know, let your teammates get in rotation because once they get the kill, it's going to be like a snowball, like an avalanche where they just whoo, rush in because you know there's a certain setup, you know, two people A, yeah, you know, three B. So majority of the time, you get the one or two kills, you know, majority of A is probably clear. And you, you can't let them hit the slopes. Can't let them hit the slopes. You can't no. let them go skiing on the, on the black diamonds. Yeah. Going off those moguls, almost breaking your hip. Oh, my God. You know, sounds like uh, something getting a little I bit did. too real. I know. This, uh, is, this is a little uh, too real. I'm hitting too close to home. <laughs> the snowball effect. I'm glad I can still walk today. He doesn't want <laughs> And we do have a technical, actually, pause on SK. Okay. One of them spilled... Drinks what are they drinking? Keyboard. What do you think they're drinking? Kombucha. Kombucha, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is not a California thing. They got the, do they do the kombucha? Li are they in the Listen, kombucha it's, life? It's popular everywhere now. Everywhere right? it's happening, yeah. yeah. Everyone's trying to get healthy. Everyone's trying to get fit. Healthy. Yeah, I'm trying to do hot yoga with you. Let's do hot yoga together. That'd be great. They think we're kidding. No, we're not. No, we're not. Practice the warrior two. The warrior two? Downward the downward dog. dog. Yeah, there I, we go. I like downward and upward dog. <laughs> really helps my back. Both ways. <laughs> Both ways. Coaster dog. <laughs> Hot dogs. Up and down. Now I'm hungry. And now. Wipe around in the second half. RPK, clean headshot to start it off. Good for them to get a five on four. They haven't been able to do this for, it feels like, the last six or seven rounds apart from that apart from that eco in the second half. Yeah, I felt like the eco really revitalized the team, and now they're back on par. They're back to hitting shots. Showing a little confidence here and there. A little bit of confidence. Drop control has been taken in exchange for long control from Envy, but they're re-aggressing on that. Two and RPK gets killed. With Cold here, that is a thorn in their side. He 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 can do a lot from here. They can try to re-aggress, but they've got no one on the opposite side of window. And they can split A in this situation. They've also got Fallen to make sure that no one flanks. And who would expect that? Cold's here just listening to the footsteps. Knows that two pairs have passed him and Fallen has been alerted. Smoke will go in the door, allow for the bomb to cross, and Fallen half blind just decides to click mouse one. Cold actually gets killed in drop, which is a big win for Envy, but the man advantage is not in their favor, and Taco really instills victory with SK. Now three to one and happy on the retreat. Yeah, that was a nice play by SK. It's almost, it's almost kind of like a feel them out kind of strat, where because you see Fallen just randomly up the middle, mm -hmm. kind of, and you see cold and drop, and then the rest of the team's kind of ready to swing right. on whoever gets the kill or makes the move. So as Cold Zero uh, got the kill and drop, they kind of maybe were lurking towards this stair area to see if they could come towards B. But as soon as Fallen got the kill, they just they just booked it back to A because six are pushed out, which allows Team Envious to maybe over rotate to B. Mm. So we got connector. So apply pressure. Force, cause a reaction, and then have make a decision based on their reaction. It's science. It's, it sounds so simple, doesn't <laughs> it? It sounds so simple. This is like Bill Nye level realize. science. He's an engineer. I don't know. That's science. <laughs> <laughs> but scientists. It sounds like you have some opinions here. Of Sorry. I've our Lord and Savior, I've, Bill Nye. I've read too much Reddit. I should stop. It's a great place. Opinions, you know? Yeah. Maybe you learn too much. To he's not a, He's an engineer. He's not a real scientist. <laughs> That's what the, the complaints are. 
to the smart man, no less. He is a very smart. Can't man. take that away from he's, him. He's been around for a while. He knows stuff. He's doing something right. He's old. I mean, yeah. Old people know. Things. Age like fine wine. Like fine, fine wine. I wonder what his price is. Everyone's got one, right? The bears. More than me, that's for sure. <laughs> Higher <laughs> price than the bears. That's right. The bears on sale. Half off, baby. <laughs> Today only the ESL New York special. SK versus Envy, round 21. Drop control on the ducket for SK as they have escorted someone down. That's fur. RPK will happily take this fight. Not too much to lose. Just a man with a pistol does close to 50 damage with it and shares some information. As he corresponds with his teammates, they have the rotates in to, to, to try to make sure that this doesn't get any more out of control. Screen watch in the back of drop. Two players moving into the long B and our man Sixer alone at A. Um, with no information here, he doesn't actually hear anything. Oh, XMS tries to recover the AK. Oh, that sweet AK. Two headshots <laughs> with it too. You think, wow, that's too big of a risk, but there he goes having so much impact. And now from three choke points, SK split, crush B. Yeah. With what seems like one hand, absolutely no trouble. Uh, interesting pinks by Envious. Uh, they're getting a little peak happy. <laughs> There you go. That um, without you know throwing a flash, without peeking together, it's a lot of individual play just coming out. It seems like when when the pressure's on, mm -hmm. you kind of lose focus a little bit. Ooh. But nice two shots by XMS too. You think? Oh, I was just just gonna make a point about how it's like you know the M4 is good, AK is a little bit better, but it's like oh, was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. I mean, kind of throwing the gun to hand out your. Uh, position because they just killed Happy, so they probably wouldn't expect another person platforming. He threw his gun and like, yeah, wait a minute, see that. I didn't see a gun fly across the exactly. screen. Exactly, and that's that's how that's how sweet that AK is. It's just delicious. Every, every everyone in FPS has that same sentiment about the AK. It's all about damage. That damage DPS, over time. That's right. Damage over time. It only takes with one bullet. One bullet. That's all you need. So sweet. It makes a difference. Spray down it long, but it's actually fallen to go down. Unlikely win for Envy from that distance as well. Colt Zero, however, you know, letting Envy's hopes get high for just a moment and then taking it away. One fell swoop. Like, Spray down two kills. Like, you forgot I was in the server. The Grinch of Christmas. The Grinch, know? yeah. He's just taking away. Taking away the hopes and dreams of Envious. Right. It's the dreams. Just the dreams. Sweet. Just, he's, he's actually Freddy, you know? <laughs> That's what it is. Freddy? Yeah. The claws. Freddy Krueger. Yep. He's just in people's, he's, he's nightmares for everybody in CSGO. Screw Christmas. He's the nightmare all times of year. That's with your mind. And there it is. Kill you. Last opponent spotted. Drops the hammer on him with the headshot. Three kills. And SK are up to 14. 14 8 right now. NV have, uh, have struggled. They have, I mean, to put it lightly, they have struggled. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been a pretty, pretty easy tail of the tape for SK um, as they, they move into a, one of potentially the last rifle rounds we see for Envy, and they do a double op setup in response. Okay, why not? I mean, when, when in Rome? When in Rome or Cobble, people just, I mean, that's the go-to false strat is good double ops in CT. Why is that? Because it's easy to kill people with an all. You don't have to move much. You just click once. Yeah, just aim anywhere above their knees. And execute might be the perfect response to double op setup. These smokes, the guys, their exit, smokes and flashes cascading over the site. All five players here joining up to jump out and dodging flashes is happy, but XMS has also pushed through the long B smoke. Fur, will he get this information? Won't matter. Too precise with those bullets. And there's only one player left, five alive as Cold Zero finds his first and second kill. Looking for a third, will he get this? On the back of Statue, has the bomb, one minute remaining. I wanna say this is winnable, but that would be absolutely ridiculous. Three kills so far. Scream has taken a bit of chip damage as Cold Zero decides that he does wanna commit to this site. They heard him drop out of Broken Wall. He's now aggressing, wants to find a first target. They've got a crossfire set up. Sixer isn't pushing up that well. And now with one player left on Rock, he dies. Oh my God, Sixer. Did he eat a flash? I don't know. I'm not sure, but. I don't know, but I was like, no. It was, no. Ha it was happening, yeah. No. But good, uh, nice try by Cold NT. Zero. Can we get an NT in chat? Oh, yeah, definitely a nice try by him, but. Oh my God. I mean, in a profession level, like one in five should never happen, ever. Doesn't matter how good they are. No. Because it's just a number. Like, if you all peek at once or at three different angles, they can't kill you all that at once. That smoke almost helped him, too. I know. 
I got scared, like, wait a minute, why is everyone dying? You know, you gotta wonder if that smoke is even a good idea. Because he could have just used it. Um, yeah, it's not a great idea, but <laughs> he could pro he's probably thinking that the smoke would cover the top so he could see his feet, because it kind of, like, landed on the lip. Mm. But still, again, you're smoking it off, and you never want to smoke off, uh, like, it helps them a little bit in this game. Two on one. Sixer could watch the cross, he could, he'd be fine, but, uh, Say love you. Move on to round 24, and Envy, apart from that, had a very clean round. But because they lost four players, we won't see that double op again. We'll also see an ump and a famas on RPK and XMS. Low grenades across the board. They've got to win this off duel. Scream making a case for it, but Taco trades him out instantly. 4v4, and it's hard to say who this favors, but Sixer makes it a little bit more of a comfortable situation as Fallen comes out and trades him out. Two on one, Phelps now. It's going to have to go full Rambo. Full Rambo, dude. He doesn't actually, he doesn't know if a rotate is going to come in from B side and won't be able to push through into rat hole that easily without making noise. Is watching for, oh, oh, XMS. Maybe he saw him. It seems like they're they're both creeping up on this angle. He's sitting here waiting patiently. Yes, they're calling him out. What the? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> They almost got, they almost got you. They almost got everyone jumping on his seat if right you there. The second kill would have slipped out. I, oh my God. That would have been great though. Like, I mean, that was, uh, yeah, pretty amazing. They knew he was there and he managed to almost win the round. Like, just envious, just hanging by the skin of their teeth. Damn. Whew. Whew. Some good plays there, good aim. GBs, yeah. And that's what's the the, cons the perpetual threat of the fact that it comes this close every time. <laughs> I mean, it's not over yet. Still 14 10 as the Cold Zero just decides to end Taco's life. Oh, man. Oh, what? Burr and Phelps. Three kills on B. Two up on the site. Scream. Too much to deal with. And that's just, that's it. Sixer on the big rotate in. The bomb is in drop. And that, that means that if he waits long enough, Fur will move. Fur's actually moved out and dropped the bomb from a wide open site. Bit of a misstep. You, you'd want to say Sixer are the most normal rotate from A. That's definitely one of. Fur's weak spots in the game is when not to be super aggressive. Uh-oh. That was definitely one of those times not to be super aggressive. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> Keep I it simple, man. Kiss. Yeah. You had Phelps in the back of the B. He can watch your long flank, whatever. And you're out here. Like, you know Sixer plays A. He's probably coming through connector or flank. Yeah, and your teammate has to rotate with you to A. Why were they so sure that it was going to be a long B rotate? His his uh his worst case situation he's come back through E box, his teammates there, so he can at least drop the bomb with his teammate. The, if the guy's at long B, then his teammate then then Furkin or Phelps or whoever it was at Pizza could just run through the door to A. A blunder. A blunder. Just like you and Blue. Just blunder. I'm gonna say. Oh say my blunder. god. Blunder. Blunder. Wow. Blunders. Blunders. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's the hard one because that was a 15-10 right there, and now SK again. Seems with Phelps and Fur, their team or their coordination is just not on the same level. Hmm, are they friends? Are they talking? I don't know. Man, do they are, take are they break? hanging out? Are they are they lifting together? Are they getting are they getting pokey? Are they <laughs> Do they eat avocados they together? I don't know. They go out for uh, boba tea. They just, I love boba tea. Yeah, it's delicious. Something you do with friends. Just it's, it's my guilty pleasure. Sign of true friendship. It's not guilty because I'm not guilty when I have no it's proud. It's a pleasure. It's Loud a pleasure. and proud boba user. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, and uh, it's getting more competitive though. We have a much better scoreline here for Envy all of a sudden. From a di from Dyer, what the I don't even know where Cold Zero even got that kill from. How are they getting these entries with pistols? Another kill, two on two. How many times will SK be able to bail themselves out when it gets this close? But there's one more. Ultimately, if you know, if they do survive these rounds, happy, obviously, hero of that round getting four kills, 24 kills in total. Yeah, really good showing. But SK, I mean, they're that team that just survives. They just, it, it's they're, never easy. They're the destiny usually. child of CSGO. 90% of the time, it's never that easy. No. Never. I mean, SK does drop the ball once in a while, but it's very rare. Like, even losses, it seems like they're just always... The fortunate part for SK is they're they're literally every single one of these rounds. If they they've done so much damage that they could win one round and suddenly win the game because Envy are going to have absolutely no funds left over. But the fact that they're coming so close to winning these is just beyond me. It doesn't even seem like 
I don't, I don't even know if it's it's a problem of their setups. The the pistol shots are insane from from SK right now, but. Uh, I think it's a lot, of, a lot of it about the angles and the confidence. Envious. Confidence, big Very lack, like, like Sixer, for example, mm -hmm. just weird angles, uh, and it's just uh, kind of perplexing. But this is a, the bare bones setup from both teams. Low on utility, everybody's got to be very frugal. They can't expend too much to take control of things. If they want to execute, they actually have one smoke to do it. Will it be on Olaf? It's going to be a relatively dry hit, but Envy don't have the counter nades to back it up, so it's going to come down to aim. RBK in draw, finds his first target. Nice headshot. Cold Zera going one for one with him. And XMS up on the long B plat, tries to shoot at one person who is able to escape. Fallen takes him out and then his friend. Boosting up immediately. Oh, nice boost. Onto the tree, rever reverse tree. Sixer gets spotted. They know exactly where he's coming from. One on two situation to stave off match point. Finds an opportunity, goes for the pre-fired nade over the rectangle, and in this 1v2, with no nades but a kit, hope might be lost. Great flash, he falls off, takes no damage, and now has to move in and find a first target. Headshot! Instantly on Fallen after those couple of entries. Looking a lot more promising now as Taco doesn't have much to work with, but has his auditory cue and peeks up. Out of long B, kills Sixer, no problem. Let's play by Taka right there by hiding for the first like five seconds mm -hmm. after you see this nice kill uh, off him. He hid for five seconds. He made the illusion that he could be hiding behind platform box or in the platform. And then he peeked what he thought he was going to push up. So smart play there by Taco. 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 <laughs> I want some tacos. Taco now. Friday. Taco, for taco <laughs> Friday. Taco started. every day here. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Uh, uh, it, 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 it can be any day. Any day, Any day is a good day for tacos. Tacos for breakfast. And uh, it's actually SK ice in the kicker. They're ice, ice in the, in the kick. kicker. They're ice in the kicker here. They know Envious. They're going to have mind games right here. Fallen's like, I know Happy's going to maybe call a timeout. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to call a timeout. I'm going to call a timeout. Blow his mind. Ooh. I like it. I like Being the aggressor. <laughs> <laughs> so your face is light up there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> The double mind games. It was kind of a short pause. It was just like, we're going to take a pause just to call your pause. We're not just going to talk about anything. We just know that you were going to do it. Oh, I wonder if that's the case. Can they do that? Oof. That'd be truly savage <laughs> for to bring that word back. I just want a five second. Oh, what? Later. Scream. Headshots. In the face, A has been taken. They are swarming this place like germs. RPK rotating in from heaven, killed instantly. And this is just, it just feels like it's over. We don't know that. Sixer has the crossfire. His teammate in heaven has kind of a, oh, an entrance here, but Fallen being very patient. Will he be able to spam him up? Nope, not enough. 29 HP, but he's still a body. Now he's not. And another person flying out of heaven without clearing it properly, leaving XMS alone in the 28th round. SK 15 to 12. He's got a Molly and a Deagle. Does he have the aim? Because that's what he's going to have to rely on. Taco in one of the best after plant spots he could ask for. I don't know if XMS noticed where he was, can predict it, but he's he's really got to make moves at this point in first. Just from a very careful position, is able to find some easy damage. And SK close it out. Looked pretty, I mean, the scoreline was pretty close, but it looked pretty convincing. I thought SK's teamwork just was way better. One thing I found ourselves talking about a lot was trades. Like, yeah. a, even though they, uh, it, it seemed like uh, Envy were able to get some kills, it was always like trade right away, trade right away, and, and they never felt like they were out of a round. Yeah, SK always managed to even up just right away. Yeah. And that's something that uh, they're really good at. They're but really good. But uh, maybe we have some more insightful thoughts from our analysts. So we're going to throw it to them. Take it away, guys. Quite uh, quite the amount of gun battles. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> uh, nice. look, looking at this matchup, though, uh, I mean, Envious able to come out right away and kind of get things started. Talk to me about what you saw, guys. Uh, so I thought it was interesting. There was like four major shifts in momentum, right? Like Envious would win both rounds after the pistol round, first half and second half. And those are kind of like their lifelines into the game, which they didn't fully capitalize on. And uh, obviously, it's easy to say that, right? But you're playing SK, right? It's going to be hard to capitalize on things like yeah. that with SK. Um, yeah, like we said, we saw the first round um, that turns it in Envious' favor is that second round of the match where they get the eco win, the kind of surprise fall in a hall. You say second round of the match, and it's funny because I do believe we have that loaded up to take we? a look at uh, round two. It's sort of like a missed opportunity 
So, uh, I mean, I believe, kind of elaborate. Well, once further. it pops up, I'll elaborate a little bit more. But basically what happened here, you see Fallen spot in the corner. See the guy cross, he doesn't notice him, and he gets that kill. What this does is allows them to flood out the halls. But most importantly, gives Envious a chance to get ahead early. Like I said, start that T-side, get a lot of rounds. Now, they get the next three. They did a nice uh, couple of, like, BXX and stuff and get up with the score a little. But the problem is there is the way they beat us, for instance, last time they played Cobble, is they established a default and they kind of abused their rotations. Pulled us A, jumped through smokes that we weren't expecting. Here, though, they got picked by Fallen at a certain point. Um, what's the next round we have to look at? I think we're going to talk. Um, well, we're, we're going to look at round eight and, and sort of how uh, NVS hits a roadblock within A halls and has much bigger yeah. implications. So, so let's look at round eight. Marcus, round you could take us through here. Yeah, so you were talking on defaulting, right? So they, it looks like they get a little bit uh, ahead of themselves. Like they make a, an unnecessary play, right? But this is a play that SK barely ever do. Like I've watched so many SK demos, and you never, yeah. you almost never see that boost out of them, right? So Envy thinks they have this false sense. Not a bad thought. It's like a false sense of security, right? You have your like map control smoke at the end of a halls, like the Navi smoke or whatever, but they jump through the CT smoke, not thinking there's going to be somebody boosted up in the hot tub. And, and so the reason I guess we say that that's a problem for Envy is a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you viewers, you understand when you're running a default on any map, you spread out on the map, right? You take control. And the whole point is throughout the half, you want to understand how the other team uses nades and how they play. SK does a really good job right in that round. Fallen takes an off shot and falls back. You think he's fallen. They want to try to even it up so they go to a smoke cold zeroes there. The reason it's bad for Envious, though, I think in this situation, what we concluded, is that it didn't allow them to establish a default. The following rounds, they kind of go back and forth. But they end the half with five rounds after getting to that eco. If I'm them, I'm looking to get nine rounds there. Mm -hmm. so I think that was a big turning point. Well, we do have round 14 loaded up where it does seem like SK is able to find just a little bit of rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're doing the default no respect boost boost somebody with an op drop, right? Like this is when you have the juices flowing. You know, this is at this point, they, this is gonna be their seventh round one in a row, right? That last replay we showed where, you know, Envious couldn't establish their default. They get a little bit hapless and a hall's jumping through a smoke early. You know, they still haven't went around since then. So this is kind of what we're saying, right? They had to capitalize early. They needed to establish that default. And now SK are just feeling everything, right? They're making all the plays. Yep, taking all the fights. You notice once SK gets into the zone, they almost take all the fights that you could live without. I remember seeing around where even just like for, there's a gap in the drop smoke and it was even numbers. And on T side, even numbers are advantage. Um, they they went up a number on SK and he still fought the guy drop. So you could tell once SK gets into that rhythm, they just kind of want to let you know, we're mm -hmm. here to fight. And just because we're the best strategically, we're also going to outskill you. Mm -hmm. We ended the half at 10-5. Uh, and and I, I think it's a little bit foretelling, uh, you know, envious. Do we feel like, how do they approach this map? Was it proper? Uh, did, did we see a result from them that we expected? Uh, I was a little bit disenchanted by their T side. Well, what was my what was my prediction? Yeah, you predicted it right no, on no, the no, button. No, well, we didn't 16, write it 12 down. I mean, that's why you're here, right? You're you're like the wise guy who knows no, everything. Not was, but uh, but yeah, like I was a little bit disenchanted by Envious's T sides, right? Like it seems like they got a little bit ahead of themselves, forced things a little bit too much. Yeah. Right, like I remember watching them. I was, I've been very impressed with their T sides lately in almost every map. Like it's I said, if you don't establish a proper default versus a team like SK, it's not gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. And the problem is, is they also weren't winning all those duels. There was a lot of fights that could have won either way. And uh, you know, even second half, right, starting the pistol, that one versus one with Fallen, Fallen, yeah. that four kill with red HP, but then Envy still was eco. So. What do we got? What do we got next? We have any more replays? Yeah, we do have one more replay. We've got round 23, I believe it is. Uh, walk us through it, guys. Oh, well, I'll just take the first half mm -hmm. of this, which is um, a B exec from SK. And this is Envious's best, basically last chance to get there um, before the, the match is all over. XMS makes a good play on the plat to get two kills, but then I'll let you take the rest, Marcus. Yeah, so he makes like the Phelpsy play, right? He pushes through the smoke as they're coming out, right? He gets the. Uh, he gets the telegraph nades over the top, and he chooses a good timing. It's kind of like luck, right? Like, does somebody bump into you? Do they read the play? But it's like, it's desperation all over the place, right? And then place, what right? it turns into. Yeah, and then Cold Zara just Fs their money by killing, by allowing them only to, you know, survive with one player, so they come into the next round with 3,400 on every yeah. single player. And so for those of you, most of you out there understand economy, right? But in this situation, anytime you win a round, but you only have two guys survive, the loss bonus 
for the next round, and it's going to be hard to recover from if the other team wins. So they're going to win, and it's going to be hard to force buy. Now, if you have three alive, you can bust it, and you can maybe get that force buy in. But that made it really hard. I think Envious, um, they barely win the falling round, and mm -hmm. then that's it, right? And, yeah. And so uh, it's tough for them to recover from that, and it's 16-12 to SK. And on the contra of that, extending that kind of, like, economy control, you remember that round when Cold Zeros boosted in A-Halls? I think it was our second replay. They couldn't establish the default. Yeah. SK wins that round super clean, right? They win it keeping four people alive. It's like their start of they like, the big They could lose string. the next round and yeah. still, and still buy. fighting. Well, that does it to wrap up the SK Envious matchup. We will be coming right back after this short break, jumping into our second initial matchup here, Group A. It's going to be Cloud9. It's going to be Navi. So make sure you're here with us when we come back. Let's keep going, baby. Woo!